Hi, I'm Stevie D from Buck Cherry. I am using the Blackstar HT MK2 100 watt with the uh, EL34s. And uh, I like it because it's got, it's kind of, you know, it's got that sag, but it's also at the same time, uh, got a tight low end and I like the overtones. It's a pretty versatile amp. When I roll off my volume, I can uh, get chimey clean tones and then all the gain I want and headroom when it's, when it's turned all the way up. They were just coming out with the HTM K2. Somebody at that uh, studio had that head and asked if I'd like to try it. I said, what the heck, I had some time. I plugged it in and was completely blown away. If there's a guitar player out there that has um, their go-to amp and is maybe just curious about what else is out there, I, I highly recommend the MK2. Uh, if I wasn't doing anything in the music industry, hmm. I'm a photographer. Uh, I've, I've shot uh, editorial and uh, done video. It's hard to say. I put so much time uh, since I was a kid into doing this. So, um, hopefully, something creative. You know what I mean? What's my favorite Buck Cherry show? Oh man, I'm a little bit biased because we just finished playing here at the O2 Arena. It's a legendary venue. Zeppelin played here. But I think the one that uh, always stays with me is I got to play and headline uh, uh, the arena in my hometown in Chicago. That was, uh, that was, that's one that'll live with me forever. What I'd say to uh, new players, I'd say go easy on yourself. Listen as much as you can. I know it's, it's, it's uh, really common to just listen to the latest players, the latest, greatest, play as fast as you can. But I would uh, do a lot of listening. If you're starting, go back to the early 2000s, go to the 90s, go to the 80s, 70s and before, and then start building on that. 